Hello friends, in numerical methods, we are going to introduce a procedure called successive over relaxation or SOR method. Like uh, the other methods, the iterative methods we have seen before, the Jacobi iteration method and the Gauss-Seidel method, SOR method is an improved version of um, Gauss-Seidel method. This SOR method can be used to solve a system of linear algebraic equations. The system of linear algebraic equations can be represented in matrix form as A times X equals B, where A is the square matrix that has dimensions N by N. X is the solution vector that has dimensions N by 1. And B is the right-hand side vector that has the dimensions N by 1. In this particular case, the number of n represents the number of rows or columns and n equals 5. The algorithm for the SOR method is given below. x of i comma k plus 1 equals x of i comma k plus omega times r of i comma k over a of i comma i where i varies from 1 to n r of i comma k equals b of i minus sigma j equals 1 to i minus 1 a of i comma j times x of j comma k plus 1 minus sigma j equals i to n a of i comma j times x of j comma k n represents the rows the number of rows or columns of the square matrix a as mentioned before k represents the iteration number and k varies from 1 to n underscore iter where n underscore iter represents the total number of iterations. Here r represents the residual vector, a represents the elements of the square matrix A and b represents the elements of the right hand side vector. And omega represents the relaxation factor. If omega equals 1, the SOR method becomes Gauss-Seidel method that we have seen before. For over relaxation, omega is generally between 1 and 2. If you use omega lesser than 1, the method is called under relaxation. Under relaxation is used when we get oscillatory solution on the Gauss-Seidel method. We have to note that if we use omega greater than or equal to 2, the method generally diverges. If we convert that set of equations from matrix form to equation form, those equations are represented here. And we need to calculate the residuals as before. Residuals R1, R2, etc. For example, R1 equals 100 minus 4 times x1 plus x2 minus x4. R1 represents the difference between the right hand side and the left hand side. Since we are using an iterative procedure, the initial values of xs, x1, x2, x3, etc. has to be assumed. So we normally get a residual that is not equal to zero. Our objective should be to reduce the residual value to a very low value that is acceptable to the solution by using the algorithm we have. Now let's go back to MATLAB and try to solve this problem. The A matrix is given here and the B vector is given here n represents the number of columns or rows the number of iterations the total number of iterations is set to 20 as before and we assumed a omega value or we picked an omega value 1.1 which is basically between uh, 1 and 2 so we are using um, over relaxation factor 
the iterative procedure, the algorithm rather, is the same except that we multiply this omega factor that 1.1 we assumed to the, the residual R. So when we run this um, program, the solution converges in uh, 14 iterations. And when, when we compare this to the um, MATLAB built-in function, which is obtained by A backslash B, where A is the square matrix and B is the solution, uh, the right-hand side vector, um, we get the values for X1 using the built-in built function of MATLAB. So the values of X1 matches uh, closely with the values we obtained using SOR method. Let's run uh, the other methods quickly. When you go to Jacobi iteration method and run the program, the solution converges in 19 iterations. With gauss seidel the solution converges in 16 iterations. And with SOR method, the solution converges in 14 iterations. The convergence criteria remain the same for all three methods. So SOR method is generally considered more efficient than the other methods, gauss seidel and Jacobi iteration methods. Uh, now let us see what happens if we change the relaxation factor from 1.1. So let's go 1.6 for example. And in this case, the number of iterations have become 20. It is even uh, worse than the number of iterations is more than what we had for the gauss seidel method. gauss seidel method, I believe we had uh, a 16. And this SOR method with uh, a poor relaxation factor, we got uh, the number of iterations to be 20. So uh, again, if we change the relaxation factor to below one, let's try for an under relaxation factor method. Let's uh, keep omega as 0 0.8. It doesn't help us very much. If you go smaller, it doesn't help us again very much. And sometimes, uh, yeah, in this case, it doesn't help us anyways. So over relaxation is the proper way to go. If we increase the omega factor to or the omega or the relaxation factor to a value which is over 2, let's try 2.5 and see what happens. So looks like the solution uh, diverges. So we are not um, able to solve this problem. So the important uh, met, um, uh, thing is to pick a suitable um, relaxation factor that helps in the convergence of the solution. To summarize, uh, in this video, we presented an iterative procedure called SOR method or successive over relaxation method to solve a system of linear algebraic equations. SOR method is based on gauss seidel method. A relaxation factor omega is multiplied to the residual value calculated as shown earlier. Convergence is generally quicker when optimum value of omega is chosen. How do we get the optimum value of omega? Uh, sometimes it's based on trial and error, and sometimes it is based on past experience. So the choice of omega is, is not uh, uh, 
given black and in black and white so we need to use some intuition into that uh, this covers the sor method uh, in our presentation if you have any questions please post it thanks for watching the video